Welcome back to Suladan Plays Kingdom Shell. Last time, I... we've started taking down what is presumably elders of some variety of, uh, various places. We finished this area. Sadly, Gnomefred is nowhere to be found. Or at least I haven't found him yet. He's hiding somewhere. Uh, that's where I need to go once I find all three pieces of the seal. I'm just doing a quick skim of the map. Yeah, there's still something to be done here. And there is this secret here. There's also something. No, that's a nectar. I don't need to worry about that. We're not, we're not running all the way there again, only to be reminded that I marked a, the location of a nectar. It helps if you hit the teleport button. Okay, we are going to knuckle down on this and figure out how to get this last thing down here. I'm going to check over here, though. Everywhere else in the game, there has been environmental details that have uh, told me what needed to be done. But more or less hints in the environment. Yes, I'm not counting the little fairy as a hint. Because I know there's a thing up here, I just can't get to it. But there's also a secret over to the left, which, for all intents and purposes, should connect there. <coughs> I'm checking everywhere on the way. My theory is there are more of those red butterflies hidden somewhere. There has to be. That can't be all of them. Why is this here? It's an interesting way to keep track of myself in the dark. Hmm. Oh, wait. Up, down, and... Okay. Check up here. Hmm. I know it wouldn't be over here, because that wouldn't make sense. Am I missing something obvious? Oh, that's neat. Ring, I say. Hang on. Okay. How, though? Like, ha how? None of your spells interact with them. can't double jump again. See, that makes me feel like it has to be something else in the area. Aha! I was on the right track. The first ones must have been in the left and I forgot about it, so the second ones were in the right and yeah, if I didn't have this little star barrier thing, I never would have... Well, I eventually would have found it, but it would have been a frustrating journey. Which means... I need to hit the right button, and I can unmark those. And get this thing. We don't choose our profession. It is fate that has assigned me to be a liquidator. In this part of the caves, we dispose of dangerous items. Artifacts, black glass, guarded... Hmm, the phrasing there. I think the artifacts, comma, or black glass, comma, guarded by knights, are delivered to the sorting center, and then we dump the stuff into the magma. The work is tough and perilous, but I don't lose heart, as I always have a flask with a special concoction with me. One sip and I'm ready to move mountains. Inspiration, tonic. 
None of y'all shouldn't, man. You can't touch me. Ha! Ha! I hit the wrong button multiple times, but that's okay. I didn't die. Nobody can prove anything. Okay, inspiration. What does tonic do? Increases attack at the cost of ether. Interesting. I'm still missing two of you. Okay. I know somewhere in the world is another chess piece. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Did I ever get the one off the roof of that house? Where is the roof of that house? Possibly. One downside to the way the map does, well, the grid-based map can make it hard to remember where specific places are visually unless you've been there a bunch. This is not where I'm trying to go, but I've already committed to it. Hi, bird. What is that? Okay, it's a secret I've already found. You can see just a tiny bit of wood. Ooh, this is not where I'm trying to go. I don't... This is nowhere near where I'm trying to go. This is not where I'm trying to go either. Oh my goodness. Where am I trying to go? Is it this one? Try this one. I mean, I know what it looks like. I just don't know where it is. Possibly. Probably not. No, this ain't it. Uh, that's it, birds. You out of my way. Out of my way, all of you. I'm getting closer. Closer in the sense that there is wood in the environment, I guess. Um. Wait, 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 wait. This is the area. This is where I'm trying to get. Did I actually need to come here, though? That is the real question. That is the question we lack an answer to, and that is the question that will be answered once I... That is not the button I was looking for. No! Because I don't know where any other chess pieces might be. Because I figured I would do this and then... Aha! Hmm. Well. I'll be back after I go hunt. Actually, wait. It might be... Hmm. Nope. Not that way. Uh... I may have found it. And if I did, then oh my goodness! I actually had to look this one up, because... Hi, bud. Yes. Well, that's terrible. I'm sorry, friend. I, I'm, I'm apparently overstuffed on health and can't drink nectar. Found it! Okay, yeah, you see the pixie comes out here. You see that? Now, environmentally, this is very easy to see if I, like, if I had come through here again, I'd be like, huh, the pixie came out. Is that little, uh, little vine right there that we wouldn't have noticed the first time coming through here because of no double jump? Yeah. Come on. Come on. There we go. Oh, I would have never found that on my own. I found the fifth chess piece. 94% map completion. Alright, well, we're just going to drop back down here. And I think he was 
on this bridge or somewhere in the town. Oh my goodness, where is the scuba? When we initially met him, I think he was out here on the bridge. The ability is nice because when you damage enemies, they lose collision. So you can just kind of, if it, you know, if the remaining shields are in position to hit them. Yay, here he is. Bud, I got chess pieces. Oh, you have all the chess pieces now. Shall we play a game? Oh, just a heads up, the game will be challenging. I should have saved. Oh, oh, I thought you meant I was going to actually fight you in chess. I'm not prepared. I didn't save. Oh, wait. No, I think it saves when you use the, 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 the towers. Wrong button. Bud. Bud, you are... I mean, you weren't wrong when you said it would be challenge. Ow! I didn't think they'd heat seek. Hey, Garaza, how many attacks do you have? You are not allowed to have so many attacks. I'm just gonna let my mana regenerate while you waste your energy. Oh, wait. If I find the right spot. Excellent. Out of uh, out of e uh, out of nectar, by the way. <laughs> I knew he swung twice, but I didn't think he had collision on the return trip. He swings twice, then he dashes. I didn't think he'd hit me during this dash. I need to not take damage from y'all. Is there a closer teleport? No, there is not. Uh... I don't want none of what y'all what is selling. So, you appear to be a boss. Good to know. Okay. Thought I was gonna be sneaky and get in close. I can hit him occasionally, so I mean, it, it's more just a battle of me dodging him enough. Ow, okay, so don't do it. That's not a safe time to attack. I need to just not mess with him when he does that. <sighs> ah I'm not falling for that again. I'm afraid of what's going to happen when I get him on lower health, though. Ha ah, 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 ha ah. ha! I found a weak spot. I found an exploitable weak spot. Will you do your thing and get out of my way? I can exploit that attack. Excellent. I can, uh... No! Okay, he's gonna do that twice. I like it. Five, six, seven. Crash. I'm not messing with you when you do that one. Oh! Hi. Okay, so you... Okay. Health. Okay, so he summons some chess pieces. Hopefully that's the only chess pieces he summons and that it's not going to be random and that he's going to summon all sorts of things that are going to do different attacks and probably be highly lethal to me. 
Can you come down to the ground, please? Well, I mean, that's a bit of a waste of my magic, but... Easy way to get rid of them. Okay, so he crouches before he charges. I can abuse. Okay. Ah. Uh. Oh, I see. You have a barrier now. There goes your barrier, and I got to take some free hits. Just wait for him to... And there we go. I have figured out some of your patterns, sir. Uh, what shall you do now? Probably fire more things. Yeah! Bud! Hey, yeah, hey, hey, yeah! I know I could have dealt a little more damage during that, but I would rather have gotten the health. Can there not be so many of y'all? Okay, so you can't. Now, you had already initiated that dash. You shouldn't be able to change directions. <sighs> it's the same thing the flying enemies do. In a lot of games, when an enemy, like, prepares for a charge, the idea is that their direction is set and you just move and they'll charge to where you were. In this game, no, they're smart. They don't uh, pick their direction till either as they dash or just before they dash. But still, good boss fight. Interesting, challenging. Uh, I should just go ahead and use that. My mana will have regenerated by the time I get there, as long as I don't. Yep. Nobody saw that. Okay. The shield there is more of an insurance policy, just in case. I like this fight. Hey, now, don't initiate the fight with that. I guess I don't have to be as conservative with my energy. I mean, when you leave me an opening, I'm gonna use it. I may as well just initiate the fight by burning some of my mana for that. Because I won't really need to be conservative with it until he starts summoning chess pieces. Because it's an easy way to deal with the knights when there's two of them. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, you're already moving on to the... Ah. Ah. Ah ha! Your plan has backfired! You fool! You fool! How dare you. For a second, I didn't remember the buggy being there, and I thought he had turned into a wagon, and I was... I'm gonna be honest, I did not think he did that much damage and thought I could tank one more hit. Why does everything deal so much damage? My, I guess the problem for me... And it's not a design flaw with the game. It's just I'm thinking it's Zelda logic where each of those is a heart container. And I'm like, I've still got two and a quarter heart container left. Just about nothing is going to one shot me. I know Breath of the Wild changed a lot of that. But I mean, you know, pre in previous Zelda games, 
generally enemies did less than two hit hearts per hit. Unless you're dealing with stuff like the Iron Knuckle that hits for four, which was like mind blowing at the time. So like if you had full health, that thing would still, you know, full health at the time, you were still gonna take a bunch of hits to die. Anyway. We're just gonna go this way and try it again. I guess it does in a way make my air dash have invincibility if it, you know, damages the enemy. Not so much invincibility, but uh, that it nullifies their collision. <laughs> this is my favorite attack of yours. Because it gives me a wide opening. Fine, I won't hit you this time. Crash. He leads straight into a charge after using that, so it's not even worth trying to hit him after that. I mean, I might could get one hit in, but it's just risky. And I tend to play somewhat more, less risky. I say that and then I instantly do it again. He was right there though, I mean. for you. Yeah. How, where? Okay, I don't know what my health was at the time. That's on me. I still would really love it if this game had some sort of low health chime that was more discernible than a subtle heartbeat that happens when you take damage the time before you die. It's a cool effect, but it, it is so subtle that generally I don't notice it. Uh, like, if the player only notices the uh, the low health cue like one time out of ten, it might be too subtle. My idea would be if you want to stick with the heartbeat, one, the borders of the screen also pulse inward a little bit. You get this kind of dark fade in and it goes boom, boom. Have that continue to happen every few seconds. Like, if, hear me out. The problem people have a lot of times with the Zelda and Metroid low health chirp, 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 is that it is intrusive. It, it, it's very, you, you'll never miss it, basically. It is very intrusive. Not in a bad way, it does its job well, but what I mean is the sound of the occasional heartbeat every few seconds and the screen pulsing in is not very obtrusive. And the fact that I don't notice it most of the time means that, in my opinion, having it repeat wouldn't be a bad idea because it wouldn't annoy or intrude upon the player. However, like I've said before, I've never played Castlevania games, so it may be possible that this is a thing in them too and that I'm just overthinking things that I'm too used to games holding my hands. Although, one could argue that if the player is to be linked with the player character and immerse into the game, you should know when you're low on health because, you know, you're you know, linked with the player character and whatnot. But I don't know. That's just my thoughts on the matter. Love the boss fight, though. Like, it is challenging, but not in a bad way. I know that's a waste of my magic to do that right at the start, but it's going to recharge and it hits some free damage. And it means in the meantime, while I'm waiting for another opportunity to use it, that it can be recharging. Whereas if it's just sitting there at full, it is not recharging and being more or less uh, not put to use. Nope. 
Nope. Slash once. Jump! Slash once. I thought he was going to dash quicker than that. I could have gotten another good hit in. Ah, no barrier for you. I'm just going to keep whittling away at you, so... The quicker I can get rid of that barrier, the better. Aha! Well, that's a good use for that. This will work in my favor very well. How dare you? Ah! A game of chess. A gnome token. This was worth it. This was worth what? How much do you want to bet I'm poor? I'm poor! How much do I need? How many of you goobers do I need to... T Ooh, I forgot about that. I know farm for money. Boy, it was hard to remember where this guy was at. Jeweler. Yes, yes, we've heard. It only costed 500. I farmed so much, dude. Fine. Oh, fully upgrade pendant. Glass is a dangerous thing. Who knows what thoughts lurk within? A daring soul who dares address their wishes to the gem must be sure of their intentions. And if luck should smile upon them, the gem will grant their wish forever silencing itself. Your gem is just one of the two fragments of a whole gem that's already granted someone's wish, yet somehow it continues to serve you. Like the second shard, it continues to serve that other young man. Interesting. The kingdom is going through challenging times. Be cautious, my boy. So that's fully upgraded. Nope! Yeah, I really thought there were going to be more upgrades to that. Also, while on that note, uh, while I was poking around, you remember that wooden toy that we've been trying to find for the little ghost child? It's not in a spot that I would ever have organically found. We'll say that. I think it's down here. Yeah, down here. I mean, don't get me wrong. Cool. Like, and the knowing where it's at, it does, like, if you were to, with the fairy equipped, go to every corner of the map, you would eventually find a room where she pops out and you'd be like, hmm, what do I need to do here? And if I had uh, done so and remembered that, it wouldn't have been a problem per se, but... Okay, you see over there where there's a little gap in the floor? Oh my goodness. Let's see if we can do this. Nope. Matter of getting this jump just the right height. Oh wait, maybe better idea. There we go. Wooden toy. Why was it in the king's treasury? Was there any hint given in the game that it might be in the king's treasury? Like, I have mixed feelings about that detail because it's like, what would have possessed a player to look here for? It? Aside from, you know, she is in the gnome caves and I guess you could say, well, there's a treasure in the gnome caves and you need to find it. Ooh, maybe in the treasury. But... I'm straining logic really hard to get to that point. So let's go ahead and return that, and hopefully that will put a pin in the final thing that I know of in this area that I need to find. I hope I took the right path. 
Look, child. I gave you your toy. Comfort the spirit in the gnome caves. Oh, it's a ghost. Gnome child. Other rap. Other rabbit. Thank you for helping me escape from this cage. Searching for new ingredients for nectar is always risky. Come to the hair shop in the forest. I'm sure you'll find something that will significantly ease your journey. I mean, I'll take it. Also, it occurs to me, and I know there's a lot of also's happening here. I've been looking at the health bar, thinking of it as if it were broken into three pieces each. Similar to a Zelda heart piece, but with three leaves instead of four quarters. I think I may have been in error on this, because in my farming for gold for the uh, black glass, I noticed I only ever see two states. There is the full leaf and there is the little leaf. So it may be that each of these health uh, bits is uh, literally just two pieces. So if an enemy does four damage, it is taking two whole leaves instead of uh, my theory that four damage would be one leaf and a third of a leaf. So, yeah. Uh, also, let me unmark that. Um, teleport. Where's the hair shop? I think... I think it's that one. I really hope that I think that I know that it's that one. And then with that, there's one further secret that I know of. There's one further area that I know of that we need to figure out eventually. And why, game? Why? Uh, and that's that spot in the sewers that I've not found all the black house. Hooray! Hi. Why are you just hanging out up there? Trader. Trader. The hair family. Oh, no, we've already. Okay. Ancient herbs. Okay, let me go fix that problem. I need it. You don't understand. I need it. Also, a third. Third nectar is nice, but my uh, using the teleporter only heals me for two of them. So, sadly, that's going to be a problem. I need the spot. I've been using the spot over here for the money farming. That is not the spot that I thought it was a. Where am I? I stand corrected. Was it this spot? I don't remember where I was farming. Nope, this ain't it. Nope, this ain't it. I mean, that's a valid location. I think it was this one. Yes. There we go. Because you just jump up there, chuck a bomb. While that's happening, do that. Chuck a bomb, chuck a bomb, fight this guy. Get more magic. Now, chug an actor. Go ham on the dragon. Chuck another bomb. Come get the gold from him. Get the gold from him. Ow. Hit the right button and actually chuck a bomb instead of dashing. And then watch a health blob fly away because it decided that it wanted to go to the moon. And rinse and repeat. Actually, let me be sure to save. And then I repeat this a few times, however many times is necessary to achieve the required gold. Yay! Buy all items in all shops. Well, that's wonderful. That means I no longer have to worry about money aside from buying a third nectar because the teleporters only heal me for two of them. 
Now, in theory, well, there's still an Ector down there. I could have just gone and got... Oh, my goodness. That'll be another thing. Why? Why must you be down here? And I know I need to really, like, mess around with my inspirations and get them set better. But for now, I'm just going to leave it as is. Uh, see, something is in here that opens that which lets me go down. And I know... Like, Let me do two things real quick. Well, the pixie hasn't come out in here, so I guess there's not a secret in here per se. But we do know there's a lever there which probably drops that ladder. But it doesn't qualify as a secret in the sense that... I don't know. Do you ask the pixie? She's the one making the decisions here. I'm still convinced that's slightly faster. And see, this is where I don't understand. What? I can interact with these things. Oh, oh no, Gnomefred, what were the things that you told me before? I think it was Gnomefred. Wait, no, I have it as an item. Thank you for making them items. Sword, pinnacle, wand, cup. Let's try this. Sword. Pinnacle. Wand. Cup. I didn't know I could interact with those. I thought those were banners. Telling me to put that in somewhere else. I can't get that frightened boy in the forest cabin out of my mind. How did we manage to get so deep into the forest at all without being torn apart by the witches? We all understood this boy was the only way to end this nightmare. The queen went mad with grief, losing her husband and daughter. She demanded by any means to find the kidnapper. Moreover, Nether City was buzzing, demanding the blood of demons. So there, in that cabin, I just stood and watched, unable to utter a word. Later, I left the order. I tossed my knightly armor into the foul waters of the sewers. But can those who still wear armor even be called knights? A knight to the end. Alright. I'm apparently missing an inspiration still. I say that because I remember there were two... Or did I find two... Let me check my inventory before I go making sweeping statements like that. I don't have time to deal with you, sir. Okay, inspirations. We're still missing multiple. Increases attack power. What about you, though? I need it. It's just one more. You don't understand. It's just one more. Where is it? Are you kidding me? I'm confused. Okay, apparently it's in an area we've been to before, but it doesn't spawn until you find that item, the priestess's secret, which we have. They never managed to build a new temple on the ruins. The old one, for there are no stronger walls than our memories. Cryptic. I just need to go this way. Also, I haven't seen the cat in a while. Wait, wasn't the priestess's secret, like, on a weird platform-ish thing? No, don't mark it. I get the forward, confirm and back button backwards. Oh, look. Acquire all inspiration, solve all rumors. And the herald shall proclaim the beginning of the pilgrimage. The great city guided the chosen to our temple, willing to offer their dreams as gifts. 
We directed the finest among them down a path, and at its end, the Dream Tower bestows rewards for their offering. O oh, Great Tower, your generosity knows no bounds. We forsook the gift of birth in exchange, embracing your bestowal of eternal life. And devoted, we dedicated ourselves to serving you. How do I get out of here? I want the save point. Give me the save point. I demand a save point. Where is the save point? I'm going that way. It's slightly farther away, but it's a straight shot. Also, a very big thanks to uh, youtube.com slash at tranplays, T-R-A-N-P-L-A-Y-S, for his very thorough Kingdom Shell guide and video and maps and other things, because some of these items were in places that would be very obscure and hard to locate otherwise. Like, seriously, some of those items were in spots that you would not have thought of. Uh, what is the moon? It accelerates out the recovery. Kind of figured that. Okay. Let's turn everything off. Magnet. Do I need magnet hands now that I don't need money? Oh, that's painful. Technically, I could do that. I'm intrigued. That's fast. Oh, that fast. I need to find an enemy. I need to test this attack power. Why did... You know what? I've been farming those knights and gargoyles. I should use them because I have kind of a mental layout of... Also, does increased attack power increase magic attack power and physical attack power? Only one way to find out, because I know it should take seven shots of my little dagger thing to take the knights down. Took six instead of seven. Assuming I didn't misremember. I'm going to say that it made it stronger, but there is a possibility I misremembered. So... the gold all the gold okay well with that i'm gonna get rid of the one last thing on my list where are you where are you i will no yes because it only recovers two nectars for me to teleport for me to use the tower so i can come here I can use magic now! Indiscriminately, almost. I mean, you gotta be honest. That is some fast recovery. Ah! Yay. Unmark that. Map completion, 94%. But I got all the inspirations, all the shops, all the rumors, all the nectar. Go poke at Steam real quick and see what all, what all I all. Rumors, inspirations, items, black rabbits, comfort the little spirit, fully upgrade the black class, beat the chess master. Oh no. Oh no, there's still health and magic upgrades. Oh no. Well, I'll do that next time. I gotta figure out which ones I even have. But I'm gonna go ahead and pause here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.